Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Valheim. I am on Black Operation 1 or Black Ops 1 and uh, welcome to my channel Black Ops Game. So yeah, we are back in the world of Valheim. I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. On the last episode, I can't quite remember what we did on the last episode. It's been uh, a few days since, well, actually it's been a, quite a, a few days to be honest since... I made that episode and a lot has changed. There's going to be a lot of spoilers in this video. I'm hoping not to show any of them. Um, but if I do, I do apologise. You're going to see things that are coming out eventually. Uh, Electra, are you there? I am indeed. Well, we have issues first. Uh, we are getting oh. bombarded attacks. So I'm going to try, have to try and lure these away and do this without giving too many spoilers away. So let's clear this attack. Of trolls oh. and let's begin yeah. right okay so we are back and we are joined by Electra troll mm -hmm. problem we're called the exterminators the trolls are gone bye bye finito so as I was saying right um, to begin with this episode ladies and gentlemen you probably have also realized there's a portal here but I do have a little montage of us um, to fit in now of building the uh, portal. We built a little portal room which looks pretty cool to be honest with you and it's full of portals so I uh, hope you enjoy that. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that little montage. And uh, yeah, right. So these portals are fantastic. Now, 
a lot of the videos prior to this, we kind of could have used them. Um, but I can't, yeah, my brain didn't really click that, you know, we can build portals from unlocking fine wood. So, yeah, we made use of them. So we have one here. And this little uh, place here. Now, we'll explain why we're here. And also, I have one by the swamp over here. Which is where we get all our iron from. Because there is a shit ton. And I mean shit ton. I've counted 22. 22 sunken crypts. That is 22 places we can get raw iron. Which is absolutely fantastic. And that is hence why all of this is here. All these smelters. And we have a lot of iron. And I mean a lot of iron. Um, because obviously in the bigger swamp areas like this. There is the um, the certlings. Which once kill drop certain cores. And yeah you can just farm them. Absolutely farm them. It's ridiculous how many certain cores you can get. But yeah, so uh, I hope you enjoyed that montage and about the portals. So they are very handy, obviously, for transporting, going through to locations and um, bringing stuff, you know, just transporting stuff around. But you cannot transport metal ore or metal ingots. That's the only thing you can't transport through there. But it is rather annoying when you walk up to it and it keeps going like that. So yeah, so that is the first part. The second part of this video is going to be, we are going, going, ready, ready for this, ready for this. We are going to go into the mountains. We are going to explore the frosty mountains and the snowy mountains and uh, get into the frost arrows and the, the you know, unlock some new stuff. Now, I know there is obsidian up there. That is the only place we can get obsidian, um, which should unlock some new stuff when we find it. And I also know the only way to mine obsidian is with an iron pickaxe. So you need to get into iron before you can go into the mountains. We are into iron and we've got a little bit of crafting to do. All right, so I have a complete iron set, but poor little Electra here is still stuck on copper. So we need to get her a full iron set. So let's have a look what we could do. So we need some iron greaves, iron scale mail, and an iron helmet. So we need 20, 40, 60 iron. Do we have Electra? Do we have mm -hmm. any? Deer hide around here. I uh, should have. Uh, nope, we got leather scraps, but no deer hide. Do you want to go and gather some deer hide, please? Yeah. And I am going to grab some iron. So we need to get her the iron armor. We need to get her an iron axe and a iron pickaxe, because obviously we need that for the obsidian. And I'm not even going to bother with the Iron Sword because, to be honest, the Iron Axe does a lot more damage than the Iron Sword. And whether she wants a Huntsman Bow is up to her as well. That's if she wants a Huntsman Bow. But the main thing is obviously the Iron Armor and the um, Iron Pickaxe and Axe. So let's get into that. What do I need for the Iron Pick? Because that's the most important thing. Just need Core, Wood and Bronze. We can do that. And then we just need leather scraps, wood, and iron for the hatchet or the axe. So we can do that. So we can grab that leather scraps there. Gotta make some arrows before we go up there as well. Let's grab some iron. I'm gonna be way overweight because I'm carrying so much wood. But that's fine, we've only gotta go in here. Where are all the deers from? Um, I really don't know. I did see some earlier. There was loads earlier before I decided to play dominoes with tree stumps. Yeah, I got to say, I did see some. Alright, so that's that done. I've also got to repair my stuff, so let's quickly do that. Um, but yeah, so we're going to quickly make up these, and then once this is all done, I will bring you guys back in. Right, okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a couple of things before we head off into the... Um, the... Mountain. Now, a lot of this you've seen, a lot of this you haven't. I This you have not. So, unfortunately, I can't do anything about this. This is going to be one big spoiler alert. But I will tell you now, this... I am not going to show you any of this. Because... In a couple of episodes down the line, which you guys will see, 
we move and this becomes obsolete. So please ignore all this. This is nothing. This is just just temporary. All right. So ignore. Okay. Right. But that out of the way. Anyway, we are at our little cooking station here. Um, and in order to go into the mountains, because the mountains are obviously cold, okay, so you basically suffer with frostbite, we are going to need some frost resistant potions. Now, in order to make frost resistant potions, it's a mead base, so you need fermenter for starters, but you need honey, thistles, blood bag, and gradle of ice, which we have, okay, so we're going to craft up two lots of these. All right, I'm one thistle short, unfortunately, but we're going to craft up two because we have two fermenters. All right, so then you come to your fermenters and then you add your frost resistant meat base to the fermenters. All right, now that would take a couple hours in reality to uh, ferment, but once that ferments, um, you know, you'll have your frost resistant. Okay, so I have not tried out this frost resistant stuff, but once it's crafted, it would look a little bit like this. Okay. So this will obviously help with the resistance against the cold, right? So make it a little bit more bearable and you might survive a little bit longer. Um, but I haven't tried tonight. We have not gone to the mountains yet. This will be the first time we've ever gone to the mountains. And uh, I'm actually looking forward to it. I am actually looking forward to it. Um, I need a little bite to eat here. And uh, yeah, right. So the next thing, obviously, or well, not the next thing, but we need to finish is crafting up some stuff. For Electra, so we can get in, you know, so we can we've got more chance of surviving the um, cold mountains here. Um, I want for starters, I want my stuff here. So let me just grab my armor uh, stuff here. I don't know if I need that, but we will see. She can have that. Let's put that there. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna need a little bit more iron here. Gonna be a little bit overweight, but that's fine. Let's chuck that in there. So should have enough to make the pickaxe, which is the main thing we need. Cause we need obviously farm obsidian. There's the iron pickaxe, and then we need the iron armor. So I'm gonna get this made up, and we're gonna head to the uh, mountains, and we are going to meet you there. Okay. Right. Okay. So guys, we are right down the bottom of our first mountain and i think we have everything we need uh i've also got a tell i've bringing some poison arrows because we got them from the crypt i haven't really tried poison arrows out um so yeah i'm gonna try that but i've also made a load of iron head arrows we've got some health potions which to be honest with you would be wise if i had them on my hot bar so i can quickly press them but we have health potions stamina potions we have all sorts of shit. so hopefully hopefully we can find what we want. So I know there is drakes or dragon, little dragony things. Drakes. Um, um, we have to the... I'm putting it on. I'm putting it on. I nearly forgot, but I didn't. So we got to. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I mean, good. Whenever they started dying and going, why is this frost resistant working? So we have ten minutes of frost resistance. That's not too bad. All right. So we need to go up the top of the mountains because that is where I hear a drake. There's a drake right there, and um, right behind us somewhere. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's in the tree. Ah, you little shit. Hit one. Like I said, I don't know if poison affects these guys. They're actually not too bad. I thought they were going to be harder. One's down. Hit the other one. Oh, totally missed. <laughs> You got them, you got them, you got them, you got them. Does fire? How does fire work? Against like these things. It's on your ass. Oh my god, the accuracy in these bows are terrible. And so is my shooting, apparently. Oh my god, that went through him. Okay. Oh my. I'm shit at the bow today. Alright, he's down. He's down. He's down. Right, so this is what we want. We want freeze glands. Mm, freeze, baby. Did you pick up this uh, Drake's freeze gland? The one over here, yeah, because he landed next to me. Yep, yeah, nice. So this is what we are after, freeze glands. And that should give us... Oh, what is this? What is this? Dragon egg. Uh, do the honours. Do the honours. I can't 
can't. It's too heavy. Oh, oh my gosh! What? What? Here you oh, go. what? You overweight? Oh my god. Okay. What's the weight of these things then? <laughs> Dragon egg. Two <laughs> hundred. Yeah, that's why I was overweight. Because obviously I'm already a hundred and three. What does a um, dragon egg do? I think I'm not sure, but maybe you can hatch them. Well, it doesn't That's say epic. anything. The only thing it says it can't can't be teleported, but it says far heavier than it looks, with a faint humming sound from within. That's all it says. Ooh. I'm intrigued. I want to know what that does. I'm not going to pick any more up because they are extremely heavy, and I think <laughs> this is obsidian. Sure. This is obsidian. Aha! Frost arrows, obsidian arrows, and poison arrows unlocked. And we have a new piece, which is a tool shelf, which I think is for the actual uh, crafting station. So that's our next upgrade to our crafting station. Yeah. So we're going to need to farm a little bit of this. Can obsidian be teleported? Oh, what a beauty. It can be teleported. Freaking oh, thank God for that. Right, okay. So we are going to farm some of this obsidian. I hear another drake. I suppose say we're going to farm this and try and find some more drakes, but I think I've just heard one. So if you're wondering why we're doing this, ladies and gentlemen, this is in preparation for the um, bone mass boss. Because the bone mass boss, you can only use melee attacks, so blunt attacks, um, with like the uh, mace and stuff. And that is rather difficult. We have tried it out, don't get me wrong. We did try and make a video on that, but it went to shit. So uh, we scrapped that. But this is why we're doing this. This is the easier way. This is the only thing that does considerable amount of damage to bone mass is the frost arrows. Or the ice arrows, whatever they're called. So that is why we are mining up here. So yeah, we're going to finish doing this, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go back to our little hut on the little island base. And uh, bring you guys back in when we are there. And... Uh... Oh, shit. And uh, continue on... Crafting some new stuff, and then go from there. See you in a minute. Yeah, die, you little bastard. So, we are back. Finished the mountain adventure, and we've come back with some some good stuff. we got a whole, well, nearly a whole chest of obsidian here. Um, which is what we use for the new arrows and stuff. And the new um, crafting table. New workbench, whatever you want to call it. Um... For the new upgrade to that so we can level it up to the max level and then we've also got some wolf pelt some crystals which i don't know what's for yet wolf fang again don't know what's for that and the freeze gland so the freeze gland and this obsidian is the main thing we came for okay so we need to go to our forge here where i can get in uh repair everything for starters uh, it's not even on the forge we want the workbench so on the workbench we want these, the frost arrows. So we need feathers and we need some wood. Now there should be some feathers and some wood in here. And now, what do we need? So we need a level four workbench for this. But nonetheless, we have everything we need to make these. And But I've just got to um, obviously make the, uh, yeah, make the level four workbench. Um, because obviously with this move that I was on about, a little spoiler alert about the move, um, because of that we don't actually have, we only have a level 2 forge and level 2 workbench. So I've got to finish off what I'm doing here in this section, which I'm not going to spoil it. Um, it's going to come up, up being an upcoming video obviously, but I'm not going to spoil it at the moment. And uh, I just realised my audio is very low, I do apologise for that as well. Um, so I'm sorry if you didn't hear the game much, I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be the end of the episode. We have done a lot of exploring. Look at all this crap here. So we have done a lot of exploring. We've gone to a new biome of the mountain. We found some new resources, which we are going to play with uh, within the next couple of episodes, maybe. And uh, yeah, so thank you everyone for watching and supporting. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, smash that thumbs up button. And if you're new, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the uh, bell icon for future notifications of future releases. Because I try and release a, a Valheim video every day. And I've got some new content coming out tomorrow. Well, it's uh, it'll probably be already out for you, but when I'm recording this, it'll be tomorrow. Um, so go and check that out. And uh, yeah, so thank you everyone for watching. And until next time, um, have fun, keep gaming, and I'll see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.